Welcome to Chi Gem. I'm Gem, and this is our daily Chi Gong. I wanted to do a little bit of a different format today. So we're going to take our practice today and do a little virtual walk in the woods. Um, a lot of us are stuck at home right now, definitely can't go out to the extent that we usually do. A lot of us can still go outside, but some people don't have access to that, so I thought it might be fun to just show you a little exercise where you can at least imagine that you're outside. Um, and I'll try to do a few of these to get us out into different environments, even if it's only through our mind, which can be very powerful. So that's what we're going to do today. <clears throat> uh, I think we'll go for a little walk in the woods today. That'll be nice. So get excited, get into a centered place, start breathing in and out a little slowly and uh, please like, subscribe, comment to all my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, so that I can keep making content and growing. If you like this practice, uh, I very much appreciate donations to paypal.me forward slash chi gem. They really help me be able to create more content and uh, keep all of this going. So if you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, get the word out there, share with your friends, at least find some peace in the practices that we're doing together, which I hope you have been. So let's do it, get ready, and let's go for a walk in the woods. All right, so the main part of our practice is going to be Qigong walking. So for this, we're just going to walk around in a circle. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, that's fine. It doesn't have to be huge. You can even just simply be turning if that's easier. Or if you're um, not able to walk, at the moment, for whatever reason, you can always sit down and move your feet uh, as you're sitting, or lay down and move your feet as you're laying down, or even picture just moving your feet the way I'm moving them in your mind if you can't do anything else, and that will work as well. So what I want you to do is take each step and fully be in that step. So for each step, you're gonna go from your heel to your toe. And uh, so you'll kind of roll your feet as you walk, feeling each little part of your foot as you go. And that's the key. What we want to do is get even further into our bodies. And you can do this kind of walking at any time, anywhere and it'll just put you into the mindset of qigong and get you back into your body and feeling grounded again which is helpful if you're ever feeling stressed or tense and you just want to relax a little bit and reconnect with yourself so you'll take slow deliberate steps rolling your feet and just walk around in a circle. Breathe as deeply as you can, expanding your stomach as you inhale, contracting your stomach as you exhale. Feel the energy come up from the earth to your feet, to your Dan Tian, which is your main energy center behind your navel, and fill your whole body. You're getting energy from heaven and earth at the same time. Try to relax into your body and keep your spine straight. You want to have your tailbone tucked under a little bit, as we usually do head being pulled as if by a string, chin tucked back, tongue behind the teeth, knees loose, shoulders relaxed, 
armpits a little bit open, fingers and hands a little bit open, and just walking. Walking and breathing, feeling each part of our foot touching the ground. Now we're going for a walk in the woods. So as you walk, I want you to try to feel what the forest floor would feel like under your bare feet. But this is a nice forest floor, so it's very soft soil and moss and some grass every now and then brushing against the sides of your feet. Breathing in and out, smelling the smell of dirt and dampness and growth all around you. Inhale and exhale so slowly. Now, another great practice that we're going to add in is arm swinging. So kind of have your arms start to just move a little tiny bit as you're moving. The movement should come from your shoulders. Don't force your arms to move. Just let them start feeling the natural energy up around you. Remember, we're in the forest, so I'm going to start describing our surroundings as if we are in the forest together. Start taking in the energy of the trees growing, the sunlight shifting between the bright new leaves, a soft wind brushing past all the plants, Higher up at the top of the trees, you hear the leaves blowing against each other, shifting. Breathe in these sounds and smells. There's a taste of water in the air as you feel the moisture that the forest is filled with start to move around you. Start to soak into your body, refreshing you, igniting your energy and calming you to your bone marrow. Keep walking around in a circle, swinging your arms a little bit as you go. Now, come to a stop. We're in a little glade. Some trees are around us at a good distance, but a beautiful ray of sunlight is shining down onto our bodies. Soil is underneath our feet and grass and moss. Can you feel the moss underneath your feet? How cushy it is, how full of life and growth, how green it is. Breathe in these sensations. Let the energy flow up your legs, up your arms and out the top of your head. Let the sunlight and energy from the blue sky above come in through the top of your head, down your face, down your chest, into your dantian and out your legs and feet back into the earth. Make sure you're in your qigong stance with your spine straight, tongue in place, chin back. Breathe in and out three times. Inhale. Exhale. Close your eyes as you inhale and smell the growth, the newness, the age of all that surrounds you. As you're 
breathing out. Inhale again, letting the growth of the forest start to move you on the inside. Fill your body, feel your body expanding as you breathe in. And then breathe out, letting old stuck energy go free. We're going to swing our arms a little more. Imagine a bit of a breeze coming through now, wrapping itself around your arms and blowing past softly, blowing through the trees. Start moving your arms any way that feels comfortable to you. Start trying to feel that breeze, breathing in and out slowly. Now bring your hands back down and let's go back to arm swinging. We'll start from our shoulders and let our arms just gently swing forward and backward, not going too far back keeping our spine straight, breathing regularly now, but slowly. And as your arms start to gain momentum, let them go a little higher. You can go as far as your chest, and try not to go too far behind um, your bottom. But just be gentle with yourself and breathe in out, letting your arms swing as the breeze flows around them, as the sunlight shines down on you, as you hear the trickle of a stream in the distance, as you feel the warmth and the clarity of the sun. Light coolness and freshness of the new breeze, bringing scents of flowers from a meadow nearby, bringing the scent of the aged trees around you and the rotted wood around those trees that gave them life. Life growing from death. But that rotting wood, you can smell that too, and how it still has a life and gives life. Slight smells of vanilla, slight mustiness, degradation, which is integral to new life springing up. Breathe all of that in. Arm swinging is a great exercise for longevity, and at a different time, I would highly recommend you checking out my arm swinging video. If you do this exercise for 30 minutes every day, it is amazing for your health. Um, but you can check that out there. For now, we're going to keep moving forward in our walk. So let's go back to our chi walking, feeling each footstep and slowing down our arm swinging, letting our arms Come back to rest. See how the vines that are growing wrap themselves around the trees. How they use the trees to climb and get a different view of the world. 
raise a hand, keep walking, but look as I show you. Breathe in. We're going to do a little bit of an arm marrow washing exercises. Bring your hand up to your upper arm and then breathe out, letting energy flow down this arm. And then let the other arm do the same to this one. as we walk, but something blocks our way. There's a piece of wood in our way. Breathe in and out as you come to a stop. It's just, it's not a big piece of wood but it's enough to block the path. So we have to move it. Rub your hands together to get them warm. Breathe in and out, getting into your Qigong stance. Now, as long as you're comfortable, please listen to your body and don't do this or just do it in your mind if any part of your body is hurting. I'm gonna go show you how low you can go with this exercise, but please do not copy me exactly and modify it either like this, so we're gonna bend our knees, or simply do it in your mind and sit down and do it. But I'm gonna have my feet spread apart a little more than shoulder width, feet pointing at a 45 degree angle, and then lower yourself down, keeping your spine straight. This is the key. You want to bend down like this. Because if, if you've ever done squats, that's what this is, although this is called horse stance in Kung Fu. So breathe in, bending your legs, breathe out, grabbing this piece of wood in front of you and lifting it. Breathe in as you hold it and feel all the life that it has had throughout its life. It was once part of a tree. Feel your heart beat with the life that this piece of wood has lived. Now, bring your feet back together slowly. And we're going to take this piece of wood and walk to the side of the path. Just walk in a little circle. <laughs> Come back to the middle. Breathe in and out and place this wood out of your way. Breathe in the sunlight above you. Breathe it out down your body. Take another circle to get back on the path. 
which is now cleared for you. So keep walking. This time, excuse me, you hear birds in the distance and you hear them flapping from tree to tree, calling to one another, flying. You want to communicate with them. So, or at least feel a little bit of what they're feeling right now, their excitement, their quick movements, their wings that open to catch the air. So you lower your shoulders and let your arms come up, creating your own wings for the moment. Breathe in as your arms go up and out as they go down, walking, hearing the birds' songs get louder and louder around you. Somehow they all go together perfectly and create a symphony of music around you in the forest. Filling you, filling your heart with song. Breathe in that music to your heart and fold your hands over your heart and stop for a moment to appreciate that, breathing in and out. As we look to our side now, right to the side of the path, we see a beautiful, huge tree, sunlight cascading down its branches. Who knows how old it is? Its trunk is humongous. Now, there's a really great um, exercise called tree pose and doing that as a standing meditation is one of the most powerful exercises in Qigong and the story goes that a man uh, heard about this about um, a master and he wanted to learn from the master and the master would turn away everyone who asked to learn whatever the master's art was. He was very strong with chi, it was said. And the man came and asked and the master turned him away saying, no, I'm not going to teach you. And the man came back every day, sitting outside all day for some days. Finally, the master noticed him and saw that he was trying so hard. So after about a year of the man coming every day and sitting outside, um, he, the master said, fine, if you want to learn from me, go over there and pull that tree out of the ground. Um, and the man said, okay. So he went over and he got in, he got situated around the tree, legs a little more open than shoulder width, holding the tree and bending down into horse stance. Be careful when you do this. And he pulled the tree and he pulled and pulled. And obviously the tree didn't move at all. He did this every day and eventually he did it for 10 years and finally one day he pulled the tree up from its roots. Now I'm not saying you should go pull trees up but um, well and then the end of the story is he went back to the master and uh, <laughs> Sorry, 
I, I like the end of this story. It's pretty funny. Um, and uh, he went back to the master and he's like, I pulled the tree up from the roots. Now what? And the master says, why do you need to learn anything from me? You pulled a giant tree out of the ground. And the man was like, oh, yeah, I guess I did. So, um, you know, sometimes you're, that's, that's a lot of times how it is in Kung Fu. You know, you're learning from every experience. Every experience is making you into a master, at least a master of what is in front of you. And the more you stay present with each task you're going through, the better it will be. So anyway, um, let's do our tree stance for just a couple minutes. And, uh, but you don't have to think about pulling it out of the ground because there's really no reason for that. But um, simply having the intention of holding the tree, however big you want it to be, just make sure your fingers are lined up with a good amount of space in between them and that your thumbs are relaxed behind that. Just hold your tree, breathing in and out, keeping your feet level, your spine straight, your head being pulled up, your tailbone being pulled down. Close your eyes and feel the tree between your hands between your arms. Feel the life flowing through it, up from the ground and up to the branches, to the reaching to the blue sky and clouds in the day, and the moon and stars at night, drinking in the beauty of nature, the song of birds who make their home in your branches, who you are here for, the little animals that you make room for. Because you are the tree now. Just like a tree, we humans connect the earth to heaven, and that's what we're here for. Breathe in and out. Listen to the wooded earth around you. Smell the greenery. Let your shoulders relax. Let your spine straighten. Lower your arms if you must. But keep breathing. Blending with the nature that is outside of you, realizing there is no inside or outside, no limitation, no barrier stopping you from becoming anything you want to be. Because just as this forest is nature, you are nature, and you have the full potential to create anything. Let your arms lower. And let's close up our lovely walk in the woods, rubbing our hands together until they're warm. Washing our face with our hands a few times back to our head, running our fingers through our hair a few times, patting down our arms three times each, front and back, getting the energy we just gathered into our muscles, into our bones, into our bone marrow, down our front. Take the side of your fist and do your legs down the outside of the inside three times. 
and then at your hip joints to loosen any energy congealed there. Take the back of your fist knuckles, massage your kidneys, then pat energy into them with your cupped hands. And then we'll bring our feet together, closing our hands over our Dan Tien. Left over right for women, right over left for men. If you're in between, just do whichever feels better. Breathe in. Breathe out. Circle your hands eight times to close from our practice, bringing all your energy back into your Dan Tien so it can be stored and ready to power you throughout the day. And bow. Thank you for a wonderful practice. I hope this was a light, nice little escape for you. I'll try to do more like it. Please let me know if you enjoyed this type of practice and uh, we can even go further next time. We can go to different locations. Um, I always like to have a little bit of a story, a little bit of a picture to walk through when I do Qigong. I feel more connected to it and it helps me feel more at one with the energy. So have a wonderful day. Thank you for practicing and we'll see you later. Bye.